hello everybody in today's video i'm going to share with you guys how you can update this little camera the sony zve 10 there is not much change you know whether you update it or not update it it doesn't matter and i'm checking on the sony website there is a version 1 uh, 2.01 i have no idea <laughs> at least it is a different number by the way if we go to our camera the sony zve 10 the firmware version right now is so let me go ahead and check this as you guys can see it is the version 2 there is no one at the end so we're gonna go ahead and update this to this firmware version and there is the instruction here this update process is depend on pc or mac you can do it you cannot do this with the sd card you know, as you guys can see what Sony have said here, this update is only available for Windows and PC and a memory card version is not provided, you know. So you can do this with the PC only or Mac if you have it. Well, what we need to do from here, we need to download this file, you know, if you are on Windows. So we just need to download this. And also, you need to make sure that you use the original battery. You know, I have charged it fully here. And I'm gonna need to download this file from Sony site. And then we go going to install this when this the download progress finished. And also, you need to prepare the cable. I have two Type-C here. This is not from Sony, by the way. But I have to try this. I don't have the original one. But I hope it works, you know, because we need to connect this to a laptop, you know, through this USB-C port, things like that. And then we just need to plug this uh, USB-A to our computer. So we have finished the download. So we need to go to this file that we just downloaded. It's in our download folder, by the way. And then from here, we need to double click to install this, you know. And then when it popping up, it will ask you to connect the camera, the ZVE10 to that program. And then, and then we start the progress from there, process from there, I think. Okay, so, oh, it turned on automatically. Please wait, verify the connection of the camera. Okay, they verifying maybe the cable thing and it's like that. Is it compatible? So could not find the camera for this update, verify following point. Disconnect the USB, okay. Could not find it, okay. Maybe the cable thing, you know. So we need to tweak the cable. This is the cable from Mawano, I think. Hopefully this is work. And plug it in. Okay, it, there is a sound beeping. I, have, I didn't hear anything with this cable. So let's see, there you go. We can hear that. I see, I see, master reconnecting. I ah, maybe the cable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. it, it is just because of the cable, okay? So make sure you select the cable properly here. Okay, so from here, you just need to click next. So it verify. Yes, we found it. The connection, the camera is complete. And we check the version here. Okay, it automatically reset the camera. Okay, we just need to wait and see. Okay. Ah, it reset the camera first and then they run the update. You know, first is check the connection, second check the version and then now automatically reset the camera and then now run the update as you can, as you guys can see here. The update progress is running. Ah, I see, I see. You see, this is the current firmware, version 2. And then the version after the update would be the version 2.01. This is very similar to the Sony A7 IV that I, uh, that I have done the update before. You know. Actually, um, through my experience, Sony doesn't do anything in terms of updating in terms of new features and changes you know 
they do quite a lot with their cinema line like the fx30 things like that fx3 or the a7s3 even get very big update you know my a7 IV before it just nothing i'm so sad about that you can check it out here i put a link on that you know i update to the latest the latest firmware they don't do anything you know and now i think it's gonna be the same thing <laughs> <laughs> there is not my nothing might change all right guys so i'm back to my iphone right here this is the iphone camera by the way so we have uh complete the update you know it's going to finish now i'm gonna con continue with this camera because my lumic camera is just <laughs> run off battery i i forgot to charge it so this is the video from the iphone by the way as i said is it good but i don't know let me know all right so we have done this you know it restart the camera by itself and then we click finish i think and then let's check it out what's new in this update okay from here we can just remove the cable because we already done the update you know you don't need to connect it um anymore okay yep we are on the firmware version 2.01 you know the len is still the same and let's check what's new in this update okay this is the benefit improvement improve stability strength for image to a smartphone okay if you transferring you know the images that you took with this camera to your mob uh, to your smartphone through the sony app I think now it can transfer faster to me like like this they said improvement here you know improve other operational stability of the camera okay that's it that is the two thing that they address in this update you know <laughs> is it important to you let's do this all right guys so that's it for this video guy hope you found this video useful and will you update to this version I don't know, I just like to update things, you know, it, even if new, the new changes or no there, I, I still keep, in, keep this product up to date, even my cell phone as well, I have to update it. Okay, thank you, bye bye guys.